Do you want to say not really, Steve? not really cryptic, but we've got no teachers DVDs. We've got a bunch of CDs here, and also Ricky Gervais's uh, live stand-up DVD, Animal, Animals, which cool. is not good at all. I really would not encourage people to buy that. It is well. weak observations, poorly performed. <laughs> I would recommend <laughs> The Office Series 2 on DVD. Rubbish in that, available. I'm awful in that. You can actually see me forgetting some of my lines. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Right then, so cryptic clues. Um, just an example. Might be new. I reckon people will be staying in today because it's raining and that, so mm. might not have heard it before. Mm. So, like, uh... Or they have and they're not listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, oh, good. You gave up on that, did you? Three, three. Well, give us an example of the sort of thing. Uh, that, that, uh, jeez. Oh, right, no, we don't. Listen, uh, yeah, 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 I'm a broadcaster. <laughs> yeah, words are my tool. <laughs> Go on. Alright, forget Come that. Come on, Baldy. Right, three, three clues then. Here's the first one. It's a band or an artist. Yeah. Right. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Good point. Good question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, yeah, if it had been why you're going to the northwest, that's a different matter. Go going on. to the northeast, what are you going there for? Right. Yeah. S is the initial, so it's a band or an artist who's who starts with an S, and that's the clue, right? Second one, uh, oh yeah, she's uh, she's related to the man in the lamp, right? That's G, right? She's related to the man in the lamp, right? And the third one is uh, the Jamaican fella. Would love to live there, but it's a little bit pricey. <laughs> oh God, I feel an accent coming. That's on. one way you're gonna have to think about it with the accent. I the imagine. There, D S D S for that one, right? So the Jamaican fellow would love to live live there, but you know, a bit dear and that, and a bit pricey. So. Uh, <laughs> so give so, us some again quickly. Right, the first one. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? That's S. <laughs> She's related to the man in the lamp, you know. That's G, Changes and the Jamaican fellow would love to live there, but a little bit pricey. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's D S. So uh, email in or text and that. Ricky at xfm What's or the text? Eight three xfm. Uh, yeah. Windows that, so. surprises. Brilliant. Right. Play some ads. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Steve, is there anything wrong with a bit of old fashioned rock and roll, yes or no? I do not believe so. Well then there's there's Jet, so roll over DJ on yeah. XFM 104.9. Who are you? Ricky Gervais, who are you? Steve Merchant. Who's that little bald mank <laughs> whinging twat over there? Carl Felkington. Yeah, sure. Right. Only. <laughs> Alright. Oh, go on. Rick, as you know, there's always <laughs> junk lying around in this uh, studio, and not all of it is Rockbusters prices. <laughs> um, no. And there's, I'll just be for sure. the playlist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, um, I was, uh, just flipping through an old copy of the Guardian Guide from last week. Sure. You know, the little listings thing. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if people might have seen it. We did a, there was a documentary on this week about the transfer of um, British sitcoms to America. Yeah. And, uh, we did an interview for that because they're remaking the show over in the States. And I'm just flicking through and I just, I noticed there's a little write-up about it here. And it says, uh, da -da 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 -da, and it says, quoting me, it says, We don't care if David Brent becomes a woman, burble Steve Merchant, eyes bulging with imagined riches. <laughs> No, my eyes bulge normally. That's not me being what? greedy, that's just me. You know the thing me. I did uh, on it when I sort of like rub my fingers together and do that stupid Brent, but people take that seriously. I know. I know. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Oh, some people got it, but um, I think it was something in the paper the next day said, uh, uh, Gervais's mannerisms could have been transferred as uh, dollar signs. Well, I was really yeah. sarcastic. <laughs> exactly. I was doing it like that. I was pretending that I just cared about the money. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. irony, uh, you see, people say Americans don't get irony. Most people here don't get irony. Absolutely right. That's yeah. why they think this show's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we fooled them. Yeah. We've had the last laugh. <laughs> exactly. We think it's really good. <laughs> exactly. Carl, come on. That that was uh, let's have some news. Let's have some let's do some proper radio. Have you all all, all, the, all your news comes from Ananova, doesn't it? That's what will Doctor Fox do about now at two o'clock? He'd do some amusing some news. news. It. It's coming up for two and here is the uh, news with Carl Pilkington. Well like I said, it's just it's just headlines and that I don't bother reading on if no I like point. the headlines. And it's all from Ananova, not yeah. from a newspaper or it's not made up or anything. These no, are okay, real then. Well let's so. see let's see. Okay. Imagine Trevor McDonald doing this. It's, These are uh, real news headlines. Okay then. Well, they're real they're real to Carl. Okay, here we go. And here is the news with Carl Pilkington. Bong! Man hidden- man hid in wardrobe to avoid work. 
<laughs> yeah, good. All right. Bong. Teenager gets stuck in washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Bong. Dutchman has two right feet. <laughs> <laughs> Bong. Cow hit by train lands on farmer's wife. <laughs> <laughs> that is the real news to you, isn't it? <laughs> That's I mean, brilliant. Oh, did, oh. <laughs> oh That's I was just thinking of the cow flying through the air. Yeah. And the wife going, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Dutch man has two white feet. Yeah, he's having some operation or something and uh What they have, they put the wrong foot on him? He's got two right feet or something. Well maybe it was only a white foot that was available. Good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. What, what well, else? in real news, I was um, I followed that thing with uh, it was that fella that got into the palace when Bush was there. Right, an undercover journalist. journalist yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it would have been a problem if he was a terrorist. Mm. But it's sort of like, and, and as the palace said, you know, all our tests are to expose terrorists, not journalists. Yeah. I, I just think it was. It was no big deal, really. Yeah. And it was much more big a deal for well, a journalist was... than anyone else. Well, uh, well, okay, well, all the journalists in the world can pop up. As long as, as long as no terrorists get in, yeah. we're all right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, a bloke just got through a terrorist, no, an ice cream seller. Yeah. That's all right. Who's that there waiting hand for the figure? I can't believe it. It's Baz Bamingboing from the <laughs> Daily Mail. <laughs> yeah. And that, I think that's Gary Bushell. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But, um, it was just that he... All he did wrong, though, was just lied on his CV. Well, I think he did. But everyone lies on their CV. Of course. Of course. Oh, everyone gives references. I don't, I don't think I've ever- I don't think I've ever done a CV. I- I tried to lie, I did one once. When I was at Udo and I was an events manager, I applied for a job at Radio 1 for events manager. Didn't even get an interview. Yeah. So I just stopped the s**t and that was exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. No, well, yeah. So, uh- You've lied on your CV, have you, Carl? Yeah, loads. Yeah. It's just, um- It's like something from Little Britain. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, loads. Yeah, go on. Come on. There, there was Radio, one when, uh, on. there was a job going at Granada. In fact, this isn't even lying, and I still didn't get the job. Go right? on. But, uh, Granada. Well, you don't get a job just because you don't lie. It's not, have you lied? No, you got the job. <laughs> yeah. No, but there was a, they ask you loads of stuff, don't they, that you think, oh, that's got nothing to do with the job. I don't know why you're bothering me asking me st certain stuff, right? Qualifications, things like that, yeah. Yeah. But, well, it was languages. Yeah. Right? What did it say? It just said, uh, you know, put your name, put your address, languages, right? And, um... What? Oh, yeah. And what I you, just... What, what, you don't speak any other languages, do you? Well, I just thought English quite good. <laughs> you didn't! No, I did. Honestly, ask Suzanne. I think you told me this before. Did you really put English quite good? Yeah. Honest to God. Didn't get, didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they meant now, that you know what the, uh, you know what your error was, don't you? Uh. Are you fluent in French, German, Chinese? Yeah, but I didn't want them to think I've got loads of big words and that. Do you What's know what I mean? Well, I don't use loads of big words and stuff. No, they mean, no do point. you speak any other languages? It's any other languages, Carl, not the they one They assume your that native you can language. speak English because you're filling out a form. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like languages none. They, <laughs> yeah. they, they assume you can speak something and they probably think it was English. And to put quite good when you are English. Yeah. English is your first language, yeah, I'm quite good at it. I see your point now. You're it's true though, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> well, I'm not sure quite good is accurate. <laughs> no, poor. English, <laughs> yeah, weak. poor. <laughs> weak. That you didn't get the interview, no? What did Suzanne say when you told her you put that? She just laughed. It was really? too late, it was too late to do anything. How's her hair? Do you want to talk about it? She's off today, so. Is it alright, is it? Oh, she's, she's listening to me. She's at home today. But it was, it's probably alright now, isn't it? Because a bad hair day, it doesn't Yeah, yeah, but it'll be nice. It'll be all nice, not today. <laughs> You're scared of her, aren't you? No. I mean, I don't want to- You've learned your- Or you've learned your lesson that, you know, you can't talk about people like that. Because it upsets them. Well, plus, I can't do it all now, because we're doing Pulp Fiction later. And it sort of involves her head. <laughs> so- Brilliant! <laughs> So that's Excellent. There's me thinking that you're being considerate. Yeah. All worried about. We don't want to use up the material until <laughs> later. <laughs> Play record. Travis, beautiful occupation. What's the best job you've ever had still, Carl? Talk about occupations. It is still. Paper the, round. Is it still the paper round? Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs>
No, it was good though. If you look at it, like, you know, what I liked about it, you're your own boss. No, you're not. You're not your own boss. <laughs> no, the guy who runs agents is your boss. Alright. But then when, once you get out and you've got your papers and that, you, you sort of, you're on your Do own. Do you want as long as you deliver the papers exactly to the places he said you are in the time he said? Yeah. It's freedom, do. isn't it? <laughs> Any jobs you wouldn't do? Uh. I just thought of one that you wouldn't do. Go on. With your sort of mild homophobia. Well, I'm not. Proctologist. What's that? Basically sticking your finger at other people's asses. Right, well, no, I wouldn't do that, now. Why have you got to do that? <laughs> what do you mean, why have you got to do well, that? Why does anyone need that doing? Does they got to look if they've got an arse ache or something? Which trainee doctor makes that their speciality? Do you know what I mean? That must be, um, right, we got our place for our and it's, it's you, Meadows. You, you yeah. came last. Oh, seriously, what? I'm not the arse doctor, am I? Yeah. You came last. Oh, I'm a bun, a bun GP. I can't yeah, believe it. Yeah, yeah. You got to, oh, I can't believe this. Yeah. That must be it, mustn't it? Well, oh, only, no one would choose it. No one would, purely, if they can have the brain surgery, Well, if, what if you're brilliant, but you were shy, you couldn't look people in the face? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can yeah. be, an, you could do anything you want. No, I just, I just don't want to look at them, I just want to do their asses. Yeah. Really? <laughs> just want to do the asses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at Carl's face! You didn't, you didn't know there was such a thing as an ass doctor, did you? No, not really. Specialised, he does nothing all day but that. <laughs> well, he probably has a sandwich about <laughs> one o'clock, yeah. washes his hands. What uh, do you mean he does nothing all day but that? You don't say that about a brain surgeon or thoracic surgeon, do you? No, but that all day. That, that's not good, is it? <laughs> I love the fact that I can blow his mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's things that people take for granted. A dentist just looks in mouths all day. Yeah, but that, that, oh. That's, that's a bum what? Bum job, that bum job. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of that. Oh. So what, what do you need to know then there? It's a lot, it's a lot to know. You gotta have nice nails. Yeah. No rough, no rough edges. Well, you'd be alright, because right, you got that job handing out biscuits to the old people because you had nice hands, didn't you? So, yeah. And I know a lot about biscuits. I know my biscuits. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I know which ones they like and that. Do you? What do they like? What do the old people like? Bourbons. Uh, rich do they really? Because that's my least favourite. I, I would never eat a bourbon. I, I could be starving and I wouldn't eat a bourbon. If you want to let us know what your favourite biscuit is, <laughs> <or> email <laughs> in. If you've got your yeah. that exercise. But I'll tell you what, some with all them eating biscuits, I bet they get arse problems, don't they? So you could double up, couldn't you? You could be handing out biscuits in the morning and chicken, chicken out. So some... what, what, why would you go and have that done then? What sort of problems then? What do you mean? Loads of problems. Like uh, what? Prostate. And they've got to go there, you, they, they have to, like, have a little, little, you know, Well, that, there was that, I told you that story, that, that bloke, um, um, uh, it's not an apocryphal tale, because it's, it's about an orderly's report, and, uh, this is the bloke that filled out the form of what happened. He went into hospital, basically, with a, a sauce bottle up his ass, And, um, on the report, uh, he, but, he said, uh, obviously, you know, pleasuring himself using a, a sauce bowl. And on the, um, the report, he, had to fill out whatever, he said that he'd been shopping <laughs> at safe place and he'd come in with his shopping and he'd, he'd forgot his key. So he'd put his bags down <laughs> on the step, right? And he started climbing up the drain pipe to get in, right? But as he was climbing up, <laughs> his trousers and pants fell down. <laughs> he slipped and fell and the sauce bottle went up his ass. And the orderly said this story would be somewhat believable if Safeway sold their sauce bottles with condoms already <laughs> attached. That's like a game of Kaplunk. <laughs> I love that he put a condom on it. I wonder if that was so he didn't want to get an infection from it or he wanted to use it on his chips later. <laughs> so um, waste not, want not. Talking of arse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blockbusters. <laughs> um, we, uh, we should give those clues again because we're not getting many f right responses here. Let's give them once more. Oh, do you know what I think? Thing. Because the mentalists out there get his clues and they're rubbish. So I think his clue must be so way I off. I know, I know. That it's something wrong. Do you know what a pun is, don't you? You can't change the word. You can't have, um, oh, he, he, he's, he's bald and he rides a bike. Who's that? Bicycle Stipe. <laughs> that doesn't count. It's <laughs> got to be Michael Stipe. For it to be correct, it's got to be Michael Stipe, yeah? Alright, well, we've got, the most we've had, we've got two right, right? So, let's hear the clues again. All right. First one was, I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? S. It's a band or an artist that starts with S. 
right? And going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Second one. She's related to the uh, to the man in the lamp, <laughs> right? That's G, band or an artist. The last one, the Jamaican fellow would love to live there. It's a bit pricey though, <laughs> right? D S, right? D S. D S. Email in or text in. Ricky at xfm dot co dot uk. Or on the text eighty three xfm. Right. <laughs> 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 Ah! Dylan's of course playing in London this week. Yeah, and uh, good luck to him. Classic. You must leave now. Bob Dylan, it's all over now, Baby Blue from 1960 something. <laughs> Bit of trivia for you, Steve. Go on. That is the last record we ever played on the old XFM before we were fired. Mm, I bet that was a moving moment for about <laughs> eight people. <laughs> Um, I just thought of summer. You know that 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 thing we did about they said that we just cared about the money selling it to America. Yeah. If we cared about money, yeah, would we be here now? Uh, do you know yeah, what I mean? I, know, I, I know. think this proves that we don't do things for the f money. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. All right, um, Carl. Couple of emails. Monkey Matt's emailed us. Who? Monkey Matt. I'm oh, Matt. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. He says. Uh, the monster. <laughs> he's all right. He says uh, Carl has missed a cracking headline from the sport. Hide and seek champion found dead in cupboard. <laughs> I hope it's real. I don't know if it is. <laughs> I doubt it. Just looking through some of the news stories that Carl did make it into Carl's news roundup. Yeah. Um. Bum. This, this one you might might be interested in. Headline: Woman says partner ran off to become vampire. Yeah. And it says a young mother says her partner has dumped her to become a vampire. Rebecca Roberts from Somerset mm, says Matthew Barrett yeah. fell for a blood worshipping woman in a U.S. cult. The 23-year-old mother says she, he began shaving all his body hair, dressed in black, and used Rebecca's lipstick to redden his eyes. Rebecca caught him performing weird blood rituals in front of his computer at night, cutting himself to prove commitment. She said, I thought it was just a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got a right to one. I was pleased he'd found an interest. Brilliant. This is apparently from The Sun. Uh, apparently he's left. He's gone to America. He's living in this Ohio-based cult. But it's the last bit where she's been asked whether or not if he came back would she take him back. Sure. And this is where I wonder if the journalist, you know how journalists are supposed to just report the news, be objective, yeah. I wonder if maybe the journalist here has maybe had some interference. Made the quote better for Possibly, them than go on. Because it says, um, I never thought this would take over his life. Now, if he came back, I'd say fangs, <laughs> but no fangs. <laughs> I can't believe. It. Imagine you're the woman, Rick. Okay. And I've come round. You're the journalist. journalist. I'm the journalist, and I've okay. come in and I've said, "I can't read about this." All like, I have to do is not say that <laughs> thing. You've okay. come. You've come. I don't see. You're obviously quite upset. You know, yeah. It's gone gutted. Off. Um, if he came back, would you take him back? Definitely not. Right. Really, what would you say to him if he came just back? Just get lost. Right. But I I'm really pissed off with you. Would you perhaps say something a bit more pithy? Pith not in this situation. <laughs> no. He's, you're he's, upset. He cuts himself. He drinks blood. He's left me. Sure, no. Sure, sod sure. off. I'm not interested, mate. Because I tell you what. Go on. I mean. I like what you said there, but I wonder yeah. if we could condense that a bit more. If he came uh, back, would you say- Go away. Would you say something- would you ever say something like, thanks, but no thanks? No, cause that's how- it makes it flippant, cause I'm really angry. I know you're annoyed. And I'm upset, so I wouldn't sure. say- I certainly what, wouldn't say thanks. I'd say- I might say no thanks. But what if- you, what if you sort of <laughs> said it like aggressively, like you were giving him the finger, thanks, but no thanks? Like you didn't really well, mean sort it. sort of sarcastically. Sarcastically. Would you possibly I say- might, I might say thanks, but no thanks, and right. that'll be it, and that's- right. uh, and, and I'd leave it there, I'd yeah. never- and I'd never change that. Sure. I'd never change those words. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Do you like puns. N hate them. Right. I don't like it's Countdown, I don't like QI, I don't like any of those past Cambridge, Oxford type. If I, ha I hate puns. If you had to say thanks but no thanks in the form of a pun, what would you maybe say? I wouldn't. I never would. Right. I'd say thanks but no thanks. I would, you know, I, I mean, I feel embarrassed that I'd even say that because I don't think I would even say thanks but no thanks. <laughs> okay. But if I did go that far, I'd leave it there. Sure. Sure. So. Have you ever noticed, as I have, go on, the similarity between the word thanks and fangs. Not really. It's, it's only, very similar. Not fangs, really. Fangs, F T H. There's a K. Fangs very much. G. It's A and N. Well, the A, the N, and the S. But that's about Would it. Would you agree? It sounds marginally similar. Uh, yeah. Sort Is of. it possible you might one day say fangs, but no fangs? I wouldn't know. Right. I could put that though, could I? But don't say it, I said it. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Fangs, but no fangs. Yeah. This is the thing, this is the thing. Just, if you ever read an article in the sun, the mirror, anything, do not believe it. Really seriously question and query it, because... If it ends with fangs, no if fangs. If it ends with a pun, yeah. almost <laughs> certainly they never said it. <laughs> yeah. 
feeder. Do you know what? Um, I'm annoyed at now, right? We've got another ad break coming up. How many ad breaks have we had in this show? I know. Carl, how many ad breaks it's have we had in this show? It's only about three an hour. Three or four an hour. Three or four an hour. So, about three minutes. So, 20 minutes.